On today's video, well, it's April 1st here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula and spring has arrived. Oh, April Fools! Hey there, outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, it's April 1st here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, and sometimes that's kind of supposed to mean spring, but uh, we had a little prank pulled on us, and we got a bunch of snow last night. Um, so I'm out here plowing today. Thought you guys might want to check out the amount of snow we got overnight. It's getting a little bit crazy here. I'm getting a little tired of it. Deer are getting a little bit tired of it. But, thought it might be fun to take you guys along while I do a little plowing this morning. One thing that can get a little bit tricky about these late winter snowstorms a lot of times your driveway has a pretty good layer of ice on it at this time of the year and traction with a plow truck moving a bunch of heavy wet snow can sometimes be a problem this time of the year. Another problem with some of these late winter storms and I'm experiencing it today is some of the areas of my driveway are icy, like I said earlier, but some of the areas of my driveway are soft mud. And that can be just as much of a problem. And then another thing that happens is when you get a lot of snow like this, and you get some pretty big drifts, which we did last night, is back blading sometimes doesn't work worth a darn. I guess it's better than shoveling and it's better than nothing, but with today's snow, it's not going to be just a matter of uh, dropping the blade and angling it and going up and down the driveway. I'm going to have to kind of piecemeal this out a little bit. There's just too much snow. It's too wet and heavy and they just don't got very good traction underneath it between the icy spots and the muddy spots. So, we're gonna have to take our time, kind of just take little chunks at a time, and maybe a little, oh, and, and don't get stuck. Which I just did. Well, hmm. Well, there we go. I think I'm gonna need. Uh, gonna have to go get the pickup truck and get a pole. Okay, well, hopefully that'll be the only time uh, 
that we get stuck today. We'll see. Yeah, this is just kind of a bugger of a spot here. It's a little bit of a bottleneck in the driveway to begin with. And then this amount of snow, soft underneath, heavy wet snow. I really just can't push it right down the driveway. It's too heavy and wet, too much of it. So I gotta try. Oof. try to get it off to the side a little bit if I can. Wow. It's not going so good though. And you hate to ram the banks too hard because that's how I got stuck last time. You push the bank, the plow actually rides up on top of the snow and then your tires come right behind it and you're stuck. to back up and uh, I don't think so. I was gonna say if I could get a little space to back up here I might be able to start pushing on the other side a little bit but you know, pretty hard banks behind the snow. on this side. Yeah, it's just kind of buried on the one side, but that's enough. I think uh, I need my wife to come over with the truck again. passes we're starting to make a little progress here I think this is like the one real bad spot I think once we kind of get past this we might be okay uh, it feels like I could go but I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to yeah yeah, you can see the plow is not even right down to the driveway as it is. So yeah, I really, if I just gave her and tried to push through, I'd really be risking getting stuck. Just gotta take her a little bit at a time. Tough situation and try not to make it worse. That's uh that's good life advice actually. Sometimes when things aren't going the way you'd like them to go. Get a little panicky, get a little impatient. <laughs> That's when things can actually get worse. So, we'll take our time here. Try to get this driveway opened up.
So, I was finally able to break through that heavily drifted bottleneck and actually get up and down the driveway. And let me tell you, it was, it was pretty dicey. I think I was pretty close to getting stuck a few times. The plow just barely was able to push through. I know it doesn't look like it, but spring will eventually come to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. So check out this latest commercial from my one and only sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Are you gonna be in need of some live bait this summer to get after some of those trophy fish? Well, if you are, be sure to head down to Camaro's Crawler's Bait Shop. My buddy Ronnie Camaro, you guys know Ronnie Camaro, right? He only drives Camaros, he's got a summer Camaro, he's got a winter Camaro, and he's also got the freshest live bait around. But what if you're looking to pick up some new lures? Ooh, those can be pretty expensive. Well, Camaro's Crawler's has you covered with artificial baits too. But at Camaro's Crawlers, you're not going to pay full price. Ronnie Camaro has a complete lineup of used spinners, spoons, crankbaits, and soft plastics. And Ronnie Camaro sells all these baits at a fraction of the cost of buying new. Hey, why would you pay full price for crankbaits that come with all their treble hooks? You already have treble hooks. At Camaro's Crawlers, you only pay for what you need. So whether you're looking to pick up some live bait, or you're looking to pay a good price for some used crankbaits, be sure to check out Camaro's Crawlers. Yeah, I tell you what, I was just by Camaro's Crawlers the other day, and Ronnie really does have a good selection of used lures. Eat shark. Very good. So guys, if you're interested in more videos about getting out and enjoying the great outdoors of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, be sure to check out the entire channel. And if you enjoy what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And for bonus content, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to this page can be found in the description of this video. And also guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat, Thanks for watching and God bless.